Good morning, Mets fans, and happy Friday, and welcome to Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and uh, yesterday the Mets dropped the series to the Cincinnati Reds. Um, Jacob deGrom was unable to duplicate what Rafael Montero was able to perform uh, on, uh, on Thursday, or on Wednesday night, rather, and the Mets lost two out of three games. The funny part about that was that prior to the game, there was all this um, scuttlebutt about, oh, the Mets haven't lost in Cincinnati in so long, and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, <laughs> the team has nothing to do with that. You know, the name on the jersey, I should say, has nothing to do with that. It's got everything to do with the team. And this Mets team right now is just not very good. I was thinking about it um, uh, yesterday during the game, watching DeGrom uh, not have his best stuff and, and kind of struggle out there, but... Um, anyone who was thinking that Montero's little um, little gem was a was a fluke and, and it was against a bad team, um, look, the Reds are a bad team. I think we can all agree. But this is a team that can hit, and they hit Jacob Degrom yesterday. They hit the bullpen yesterday, and uh, you know just to just to throw that back to what happened on Wednesday night with with Montero, um, it, it isn't a fluke, and it isn't that the other team wasn't any good because um, the Cincinnati Reds can hit. Onto the game itself, you know, it was what it was. Um, not a lot of offense to be found by the Mets. Uh, a couple of missed opportunities. Uh, the, the, the lack of, of hitting with, with runners in scoring position is uh, painful at, at, at best. I just, I, I, this seems to be a problem that the Mets have to try to address in the offseason. Um, I don't know how to address it. I don't know how you get better at hitting with runners in the scoring position, but it's just got to be a number that improves. Um, and it has improved this year. Uh, it certainly has. But, you know, getting guys on, the first two guys on in an inning and not scoring even one of them, that can't just cannot happen. It cannot happen. It's really, really bad. And it happened yesterday. And it's not why they lost, obviously, but, it, you know, it's tough to watch as it is. And when they do bush league stuff like that, it makes it even tougher. Speaking of the off season, uh, I read a little um, article this morning on Mets blog about Mike Moustakis and whether the Mets should sign him. And uh, I think Maggie Wigan wrote the article, but it was really well done. I thought I thought it sort of contrasted the pros and cons pretty well. Um, the pro, the the, the pro, uh, I can think of one pro. The Mets need a third baseman. And a legit third baseman. They can't have Wilmer Flores patrolling third base next year. You can't have TJ Rivera patrolling third base next year. Not if you're serious about contending. That being said, I don't think Mike Moustakis is the answer. I really, really don't. Mainly because the cons around him are that this has been by far his best statistical year. And the second one, and this is the worst of them, he's not a superstar player. And he's going to get paid like a superstar player. And it's because it's such a weak free agent class coming up. So my question here is, do we make the splash and make the big signing of a guy who's coming off a really good year? And don't get me wrong, Moustakas is having a fantastic season. But do we sign this guy based on the merits of that one season and then hope for the best going forward, which will probably be a five-year deal or more because he's only 29 years old. And Moustakas is not old. He's not. We're not getting a guy at the end of his prime. He's, he's in his prime. Um, however, you know, in my opinion, the Mets just don't seem to work out very well. Uh, things, rather, don't seem to work out very well for the Mets when they go signing guys like that. So, what do you guys think? Should the Mets sign Mike Moustakis? I say no, but it's a conditional no. And my condition is that they, they make other improvements on the team. What they are, I don't know at this point. I have to think a little bit more about it. But I do not think that Moustakis should be uh, on the top of the list as far as who to acquire in the offseason. But that's just my thoughts. I'm curious to hear what yours are. Uh, you can let me know what you're thinking on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. Uh, or you can post something in the comments below and we can get some dialogue going there. But I do want to hear what you guys think about uh, trading, about uh, signing Moustakas. That's going to wrap it up for today. Um, the Mets are on their way to Harvey Ravaged Houston. Um, hopefully they're, made, they're, they're able to get these two games in tomorrow and um, Sunday, and hopefully the Mets are able to do some good today. They plan to do some nice, nice recovery work 
um, and help out in Houston and help the victims of Harvey. So that'll be great. Uh, and speaking of Harvey, the next uh, Mets pitcher to take the mound will be Matt Harvey. So I'm very much looking forward to uh, to seeing Matt get back on the bump and hopefully, as I said yesterday, um, rebuild his value and rebuild his brand as Matt Harvey. So that'll wrap it up. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you're not already doing so, as I said, follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. And as always, let's go Mets.